And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristol. Is CDE's football really a program in disarray? George Chomp says that is the reason he was let go and why the school is now looking for a new head coach. George says disarray? Really? We made the playoffs last year for the first time in decades. This season, we finally beat CD. Chomp is stunned by this, believes there was no issue that couldn't be resolved. George, of course, is, is in his 70s now, but still wants to coach. That is Chomp's side of the story. The school says this, the decision to open the head football coaching position at CD East is in the best interest of Central Dolphin East High School. CD East will now have four different head coaches in the past five years. It is one of those mid-majors in college basketball, but it is getting a major talent from around here. Malia Tate DeFridis from Steel High making it official. She signs with Hampton University in Virginia, a school which is all about conference championships and making the big dance. Hampton is getting a winner. Malia has led the Rollers to back-to-back -to -back state titles. Uh, Hampton, of course, was a good winning program, and I wanted to continue that. Uh, Coming from still high, of course, we're used to winning. Here's Malia from last season passing the 2,000 point mark. She's now about 50 points away from becoming Steel High's all-time leading scorer, boys or girls. Well, how many small business owners you know wear tights? A local man is living his dream by tapping into his childhood one body slam at a time. He wants to move pro wrestling forward by actually dialing it back. When that bell sounds, it is time to go to work. Some of it backbreaking. The rest is not. Setting up, tearing down, tweaking everything in between. Travis Shirk knows minor league wrestling isn't glamorous or very profitable, but this is what he's always wanted to do. Wrestling's been with me since I was three years old. I was a Hulkamaniac, you know, that's where it started. And it continues in small arenas and school gymnasiums with the ultimate wrestling experience. Travis transforms into the thrill seeker, Sage Strong. He doesn't just wrestle in the UWE, he owns it, along with his cousin, Kevin Murphy. Hey, Travis. Hey, what? Here's a knuckle bark for you. These two grew up on wrestling. Old home videos show them in the garage, the basement, the backyard. Now they're trying to bring back what they watched as kids. We call it old school thrill, new school skill. The characters of yesterday, the moves of today. We want to have it that it's for all ages and something that everybody can enjoy. They started with nothing except a lot of passion. They bought a ring for $8,000, which they're still paying off, found and trained other guys who love wrestling too. As a wrestler, if you're a heel, you want to be booed. You want to get heat from the crowd. That's what you want. That's what feeds you. Bad guys, good guys, they're all here. But Sage Strong is the undisputed star. He is that larger than life guy that has like come out of a comic book. Travis once spent four grand to go to wrestling school. It's a challenge for me. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for me to be a good guy. Why? Well, I'm a big guy. Big guys are bad. But Travis is so good, he almost went big time. Claims he nearly signed with WWE, but had a change of heart at the last second. His mom is fine with that. I feel that they probably chew you up and spit you out. And that was a concern of mine because he has such a good heart. Uh, but now that he has his own business, um, he can create it to be whatever he wants it to be. He wants wrestling that is family friendly. Doing it here, barely making ends meet. It's not quite Travis Shirk's ultimate wrestling experience, but he's getting there. I mean, I'd like to retire soon, you know, <laughs> or before I'm too old and I'm in a wheelchair, but you know, Finsuk man, if you want to buy my company, you know. Until then, it's time to go to work. Yeah, it is time to go to work and talk about bringing wrestling back. Remember the honky tonk man, Jake the Snake Roberts? Travis is bringing those guys to Harrisburg on Saturday for a show. Oh, There's cool. only about 50 seats left. And again, this is his idea to bring wrestling forward by moving it back and there's sure. much more information on the show on cbs21.com. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it is sense. a cool deal. Yeah. yeah. Good story. Thank you, Jason. We'll be right back.